Hi everybody, this is Pam with Jesus Junk Journals and we're going to pick back up with this Hope Journal and I'm going to bind it. I'm going to go ahead and bind it. Now, there's a couple ways you could do it. You can bind it just the pages and do your work and then go and put the cover on it and I stitch it on too. Or you could do it all at once if you want to. I like to do it separately. I feel like it might be a little bit easier to get around everything without the cover in my way. But that is a personal choice. So I am going to take all my pages and I'm gonna make sure that they're pushed down into the fold as much as possible. And then just barely open them in the middle. And that's how we're gonna sew it. If you, if you do this, if you try to hold it out flat and do this, it, it doesn't work right. It doesn't come together right. So make sure you've got everything like you want it. Now, because there's so many pages, you can see how it makes the middle pages stick out farther. And if that bothers you, you can, you can also chop those off if you want to. It doesn't bother me, so I'm gonna leave it. <laughs> I'm gonna get my book binding kit, which I got on Amazon. I think it was, I don't know, seven or eight dollars. I'm not sure anymore but it probably has gone up <laughs> along with everything else. But it comes it came with an awl and a thing of waxed linen thread and it had some needles and it came with some, actually came with some bone folders. So however you wanna do it, I'm gonna take a couple of clips and hold this together. Actually, I'll get a, get a big clamp and hold it. And then I'm gonna take a needle. I use a big darning needle, just cause the thinner the needle is, the easier it is to get it through, but whichever one you like. And then you take your thread and you do, whoops, don't drop it on the floor. I do two and a half times the height of the journal. And flatten it out with my fingernails and it should thread right up for you. And then we're gonna, now people do it different ways. I like to poke the hole and then put the needle through and then poke the next hole. So I'm gonna do a, pick my middle, just eyeball where the middle is. I've got this piece of packing styrofoam for this to go into so I don't damage anything. Poke the middle. And then you can either start in the middle, if you want these tie-ins to be in the middle where you can tie charms and things to them. And I might do that this time. I'm gonna go ahead and come that way. So now I'm gonna poke the hole here at the top. So I'm just gonna go up a little bit and poke the hole and come back here and find the hole. <laughs> and poke the hole or poke the needle in. Might have to wiggle it around just a little bit to get it through. Pull it and I'm gonna pull this so I have just a little bit of a tail there. And then I'm gonna go back through my center hole and this is the only tricky part. Just make sure you don't catch this thread here with the needle because it will really, you have to start over. Go up in the top of that hole and hopefully you miss the tail. That just pulled it on through for me. And then pull it tight, pull it tight, and then take the awl, poke a hole a little bit down from the bottom of the journal. Come around here and stick that needle back through there. Pull it through. Come on now, there. And take the needle off. And you're gonna tie it together in the center. Double knot. And you can tie charms onto that. If it's long enough, you can tie a bow, however you wanna do it. And I've got a couple of B, things I might want to attach to those. So I'm going to wait on that. And 
So that is found. Oh, I was going to show you guys. I went to Hobby Lobby and I found some cute yellow fabric. So I'm going to use that for my cover. So anyway, um, back to back to what we're doing. <laughs> okay, go to the next thing, which is I'm going to take these two pieces and I'm going to I'm going to glue them in as a double pocket somewhere. And so I'm looking for maybe that's a good place to put them was on that blue that I wasn't so crazy about. Now I'm going to take this. I've got a big circle punch, uh, two inch circle punch, and I'm just going to cut a notch in it for a pocket. So I'm just going to eyeball where it's centered and do the same thing on the smaller one. And I'm gonna take my Distress Ink. So it shows up. And so now get my Art Glitter Glue and where did it go? Oh, <laughs> okay, so I'm going to, I'm gonna glue it all the way to the bottom and then glue that over it, I think so. And of course you can use these as separate pockets if you want to, if you don't wanna make it a stacked pocket, that's your choice. It kind of, where did it go? <laughs> it kind of, if you like that yellow flower right there, you, this kind of ex covers it up a little bit. So it's up to you. But I like stack pockets, so I'm going to do that. Okay. So now I'm going to pull my pockets out which I have a whole bunch of these kind. And I'm gonna go through here and just start to glue them in. I usually like to make them where they are on the inside of like here so that if you stick something in it, it can stick all the way out if it needs to. But I think all these pockets, are these all the same direction? Except for these. Okay, and some of them, of course, can go at the top if you want them to. I think I'll put that one there. That's a cute one. This is really <laughs> like a little tuck spot more than it is a pocket, I guess. It's really pretty skinny. And I think I'm gonna have to break my rule Let's see, oh, you know what? I forgot, I'm gonna glue this in. And this might be, I don't know, I'm starting to kind of like this with those scraps on it. So let me see what page I wanna lose. I think I've got so many of these, I think I might glue it on one of those. I think that one. I think I'll do that one. So I, I need to make sure I've got it right side up. Be sure you look at it before you do it and glue it in right side up. And I'm moving it all the way over to this outside edge just so that when you open it, you won't have any more interference with that middle part if, than you need to. Okay, so that's glued in. I'm going to do that one. It says, whatever the Bible says is mine, is mine. And I am going through a really good Bible study right now. It's Kenneth Hagin's course on faith. It's a Bible course on faith is the name of it. I think I've mentioned it before. And I have a little group of women going through it with me. And we are loving it. And it's reminding me and teaching me so much about faith. You know, that it's not anything our five senses see or 
or you know we don't see it we don't feel it you have to believe it and it's a spiritual thing when you believe and it's so hard because we just expect we pray for something we want to see it but faith is <laughs> believing in things you don't see so you have to believe it and then it comes in this in the physical so I'm getting ready for my next journal can you tell the next journal is going to be on faith probably my favorite subject okay that looks like that would go cute this one looks good I don't want to do anything I, those bees are so cute I think that they're kind of the star of the show on this page so I won't do anything to obscure them And this one could take, that pink doesn't really go, neither does that. I'm just going to do this music one with this doily. Standing on the promises of God. That's the hymn that's on this one. That's what we're hoping for. I think there. Looking for places where I can put the pocket on the inside against the fold. I just like that better. This is pretty wild. That could certainly take a pocket, couldn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like that number. I don't want to lose it. Let's see. That might be cute. He's up there and he's down here. I'll do that. And I, I like that, so I don't want to put anything on that. So back to the front. And I like that. Don't want to put anything on it. I could put one here. That kind of goes to beehive, doesn't it? Okay, this one's pretty crazy. I'm going to put it there. I'm going to put that one there. Hope you guys are having a good day, having a fun craft day. Went to Hobby Lobby and there was all kinds of spring things flying off the shelf. Everybody's in the mood to think about spring. We were up to 60 degrees today, so all the snow is almost melted off. <laughs> I'm going to put that there. That's just got a lot going on, but I... That's all right. I was so happy. I had a really neat um, report from a gal on in our group. And we had been praying. She lives in Georgia, but she had asked for prayer for her pastor's son, who's also a pastor. And he was in the hospital with COVID. And they said his lungs were shot, that he was in a coma and he wouldn't wake up. And... Things were just not, they weren't giving him any hope. But they were trusting God. They were praying. And he woke up, and he's good. His heart. His heart's good. His lungs are good. Everything's good. And they moved him out of uh, ICU, I believe, into um, oh, whatever the next step is. So anyway, praise the Lord. It's so exciting. It's so cool to, to see these stories. Okay, so we've got lots of stuff to put in, and I have a feeling we're going to need more pockets. But what I'm going to do is kind of go through a preliminary, like putting the cards in, so I know what I need. And I know I can put more than one thing in a pocket, but I'm just going to go through here and uh, put things in so I see what, what does that look like. Yeah, we got quite a few cards left. <laughs> I put a lot in there, didn't I? 
Okay, so what we can do is, of course, use some of these for tuck spots. So let's see. So I think I will, let's see if I stick that there, yeah. So I'm gonna glue just like it's a little mini pocket and a little tuck spot here. I have to make sure I do it on the right side. Oh, you know what I didn't do yet? I've got to do this handkerchief. Oh, hope it's not too late. Let's see. Where? I might have to take one apart. So what I have done in the past is you fold it in half. And then you fold it. and fourths. I'm gonna pull this off. And pull this off. Hopefully it's not gonna be difficult. Okay, not too horrible. See if I can, I've actually not done this on a, now that I think about it, on a junior, on a, I'm sorry, a mini journal. So what I do is put half of it on this side, and half of it on this side, and then fold it down, fold it down on this side. And let it be pocket here and pocket here and you can even like fold it like this and make a double pocket if you want to now it sticks out here a little bit that doesn't bother me if it does bother you you could take this thing and cut it down I mean there's several ways you could go about it and um, just I mean you could even just cut it cut a corner off of it and make it a pocket that way. So it's up to you. I think I'm gonna let it stick out and use it as a double pocket on both sides. And if I was really conscientious, I would take this downstairs and iron it, but I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm hoping that it'll press itself out as this journal is shut up. So I'm going to in there get it half and half as much as I can so I'm going to get my fabric tack and put it along this edge And the same thing on this side. Take this one and fold it down and I'm just going to Put a little bit of Fabri-Tac down here. That lace edge will hide it if it goes through. And then this one, I'm gonna put a little bit of Fabri-Tac on this and very carefully tuck it down Hopefully I can get it sort of so it it's the same fold as this, an even amount. And if you wanted to, you could stitch it, and that would probably be really smart. 
on the sewing machine because this is right right here is giving me a little bit of a it's kind of sagging right there so sewing it on the sewing machine at least even up that side would probably be smart and also it would reinforce this side because I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to sew it I think I'm going to glue it down here let sewing take care of that other side Put some glue on here. Ooh, I want it go up to go down farther than that. Okay, because I want to see my writing here. Well, it's gonna hide it. Okay. All right, regroup. I'm gonna. I am going to fold this down. Just let it be a double pocket on this side because I don't want to hide that. So this side will have one pocket, and the other side will have two pockets. And I'm gonna go over to the sewing machine and stitch that, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I got that stitched right there, and it's stitched there, so that's done. So there are two pockets to put things in. The glue got somewhere it shouldn't have been. So this is actually big, big enough to hold one of my bigger cards. So I can do that and that. And on this side, I could do a small one. And that is that. Okay. So see, it's getting pretty fat. <laughs> Well, I don't want to cover that up. Let's see. I'm just going to have to put it there. Be happy about it. So back, glue this back on. So I need... I think I'm just going to glue this down here and use it as a pocket, sort of like a little tuck spot or pocket. Hmm. I know what I want. I want a little corner pocket. I've got some that I made up. Let me see if I can find one that goes with this color scheme. It goes kind of. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna say it does. And all it is is a square of paper that you fold into a triangle, and then you can make a note under here and make it into a pocket. 
actually, I guess that won't show. It's just that one side that shows. So, so I'm going to glue it here and here. Glue it into the corner. And then tuck that in and that. I'm going to move it up here so you can see them both. And then you can write under there. So I'm going to look. I have these stickers. I'm just going to go through and see if there was a place that needed some attention. This green goes with the blue. I like that a lot. So I'm going <laughs> to put some here, I think. I think I could put something right there. That's good. Um, I'm, I don't want to put it anywhere else since I've got it there. And so now I've got some B stickers to use. swap out the card I put on there. Alright, so that is pretty much what I've got for that. Now I do have a, a B a bead, I think, that I was going to add. A little charm, a B charm. So I will probably do that on the next video. I'm going to stop now and say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll go on with uh, doing our cover and our little charm and all those things on the next video. And I guess that's it. See you next time. Bye-bye.